Okay, back to another extra feature with typography. What I want to do is now just bring up the Gliss palette. It gives us a few more extra features, okay? Now the Gliss palette is basically just under the type. I've got some type up here, so if I just click on that and go to type, I might be working with my headline or my type down the bottom. It really doesn't matter. But if I just click on Gliss, we get this palette coming up. Now what I'm using, if I break, uh, drag this out of the way, uh, my font here is basically Myriad Pro. It's an open type font. Now an open type font, if I just go and click over here, for example, on the fonts, you'll see that um, it's just getting out of view here that um, you get these true type TT or open. Open type font enables a lot more, particularly when it comes to glyphs and swooshes and extra features, extra characters. A true type font enables up to 256 character effects uh, through numbers and all sorts of other things you might get. But open type, a full open type pro font, will enable up to 64,000. Okay, much, much better um, effects that you can get with open type. And of course, they do cost more when you buy them. To get a good font, you need to buy it. Be very careful of some fonts you download, they can take your whole system down. A good way to test if it's going to work is convert it to outlines. If it doesn't convert to outlines, you're going to have trouble. Anyway, I'm, I'm back to my pro font and I've got my glyphs panel here. Now I've got the entire font. If I drag this out, look at all the additional features that you have with that font. There's also in here, anything you see in Arrow, there's different flyouts which enable different effects as well. Okay, so as you can see, you've got a ton of options. So rather than worrying about the key commands, you can actually go through here if you want to use a tick or whatever and use the glyphs panel. How do you work with the glyphs panel? Well, one thing for a start, you have all these different sets if you want to zero into um, something more specific. Um, I've got the entire font here. Um, maybe I'll go to just um, lining figures or something, uh, numerators or whatever. But I'm just on the entire font here. And all I need to do is if I want to add something in here, I maybe want to replace this T. So if I just uh, double click on that, and I'll just highlight it, and I'll come down here and let's look for something um, with a T, which is just down the bottom here. And if I just double click on that, you see how it's replaced it in there. So it's as simple as that to add um, the glyphs. And you can do that through your typography. Um, there's also special ligature type effects where you can join things together, okay? Which give you the options, particularly if you're using um, these letters together. Now another way to do that, rather than go down and double click on that, I'm just gonna hide my glyphs panel just for the time being. And if I just go down here, Maybe I want to use um, some of the features, sort of like a glyph, but if I just highlight this half, I don't want you to see, do, uh, see you doing just a, a half with a, a forward slash to separate the two. Use the features of the open type font or the fonts that allow that simply by coming down um, within your tool set here, you'll see character, paragraph, and you've got open type. And here's the different effects you can work with that. Now fractals here, if I just click on that, now I've got a true fraction, okay? Let's see what's um, something else down here that's going to be quite relevant. Um, just my finding, you see how that's joined together? Well, that's because it's actually using the ligature here. So if I just uh, click on that like that, see how it's now gone, I've turned it off. I've got back to the finding, um, and then I'll just choose it again, and we can actually add it back there, okay? So um, there's all sorts of uh, features in here, depending on the fonts you're using, and the ones that are not grayed out, and uh, depending on the access with the fonts you're using, you're going to have a lot greater range of these tools, okay? From swooshes to ligatures, um, and this really needs experimentation to find out what you can do with it, okay? But there's a lot more to a font than what appears on the surface. So have a good time experimenting with that to get the, exactly the right look that you want.